Hey everyone, welcome to a new day. Welcome back to the channel. It is Sunday afternoon and uh, I have a couple of grocery hauls for you. So today's video is going to be strictly grocery hauls. Uh, one's going to be Walmart and one's going to be Kroger. So I'm going to start off with the Kroger. I have to film the Walmart still. So I'm going to start off with the Kroger uh, grocery haul and then we'll get to Walmart. All right, everyone, so here is our uh, Kroger grocery haul. Uh, I still do have to order some stuff from Walmart, but um, do not go to the grocery store when you're hungry and you haven't eaten at all during the day. <laughs> but I actually did get stuff we needed and some snack stuff, which in a way that's kind of needed too throughout the day. <laughs> all right, so let's start over here. I kind of try to uh, separate it. Produce, dairy, uh, normal pantry items, lunch meats, and snacks. So, again, we're in the garage. So, I got a head of lettuce, a cucumber, um, and that's more for salad. Uh, got some tomatoes as well. Got avocados. Now, I haven't had avocados in I don't know how many weeks now, and I miss them. So, I was very happy to see them on sale. So, got some avocados. Another bag of onions. And these, uh, these are four peaches. They're really big. They're not ripe yet. They still have some hardness to them. And they're, those are nectarines. There's three of those. I love nectarines and peaches to eat like that. Um, but the peaches, as you know, we also peel them, cut them, and put them in milk and sugar for just like a sweet side dish to your supper or any meal. And so, but those have to ripen up still. Now, they were on sale. Uh, the normal price was like three something a pound was on sale for two forty nine a pound, but a digital we had a digital coupon for ninety nine cents a pound for either one of them. So I got we got ninety nine cents a pound for both of them. So that's a good deal. And they're pretty big ones, too. Uh, normally, they, you don't see them that big in the grocery store. So that's our uh, our uh, produce. And I did get another bag of uh, flour tortillas. I know I, I want to make some, but I always like to have them on hand for a quick snack or meal. Because it could be like midday or late night snack you can have a quesadilla or you know like a bean and cheese burrito or taco so i always like to just have them on hand and hot dog buns because i bought some hot dogs and i probably will end up eating hot dogs after i do this video because i am now even more starving so uh got a little six pack of pineapple juice I, I've said this before, I love pineapple juice. When I open cans of pineapples, I drink all the juice right away. <laughs> so, and then Lando Lakes Butter, got five of them. What a deal on those. Uh, digital coupon, $2.99 per block. So they're one pound blocks, four sticks in each. So, and you can use it up to five times in one checkout. So I got five of them. So $2.99 for Lando Lakes. Great deal. Got a 18 count large eggs. Oh, do I miss the old price on eggs? Used to be like on sale, 97 cents. On when the regular price it was like a dollar nineteen to a dollar forty-eight, somewhere around there. Now it's almost five dollars for the 18 count. Got some uh taco shells uh, as I said we're gonna have leftover tacos tonight and uh, I think we have three or four shells so we'll need a couple more and then we'll have some more for another serving of tacos got some bacon uh, bacon it actually works out really good yes bacon is expensive this was on sale for $4.99 and I usually cut it in half and then we get like three or four servings out of this and we get good amount of strips on each uh, serving so i try to make that bacon work for the money it's uh, costing so get my money's worth out of that 
uh, some stock up items. Dill relish. Glenn likes that on his hot dogs. And sometimes he makes his own tartar sauce, so he goes through it quickly. So I got two of those. And I actually did get him some tartar sauce when we have our Friday fish fries. I got four cans of these Mexicorns. I don't know if you've ever had them, but these are good. But they're small cans, so I got four of them. Uh, we'll de definitely go through two at each setting, serving. <laughs> Uh, one can of petite diced tomatoes. We do have some, but again, just like stocking a little bit up at a time. And some chili beans with spicy chili sauce. I'll be making chili tomorrow night. And got two cans of chorizo refried beans. like to have those on hand. And four cans of green giant sweet peas. Uh, that's for Glenn. He likes peas and he's very brand specific. So Green Giant is his brand. Uh, got a half gallon of milk. Two, uh, two tubes of these sweet and, or, uh, sour cream and onion uh, Pringles. I love sour cream and onion Pringles. And since we are snacking when we're playing rummy, we haven't really had any snacks to while we're playing this week. So... Uh, so yeah. How many times I beat you? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Glenn says, tell, tell him how many times I beat you. <laughs> hey, I'm getting better. <laughs> so got two things of those to have on hand. Got this bag of uh, soft bacon bits for our salads. Um, cost effectiveness on these bags. Also, this is a mega pack, but this is a nine ounce bag and it was like six six something six and some change there was a three ounce bag for all uh, between three and four dollars so to equal this nine ounce bag you would be paying three six nine ten ten to twelve dollars to equal this so yeah sometimes you you got to uh calculate the ounces and the costs before you just pick up the smallest ones or the biggest ones so it could work either way on that. But, yeah, that's going to be for our salads. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, lunch stuff. We got some hot dogs. Got some brown schweiger. Got bologna. This is thick cut. And some uh, ham. And like I told Glenn, if, even if we don't have any of this right away, can throw it in the freezer. Uh, the ham and the bologna packs, cut them in, you know, split them in half, throw them in the freezer. And you just take out what we're going to eat for a day or so. So that's lunch meats and snacks. Uh, besides the Pringles, did get some cookies. These are lemon sandwich cookies. And that was only $1.89. Uh, I don't know. Crumb Dilly, Dillyicious. I don't know if that's the brand. <laughs> and some duplex sandwich cookies. Again, just snacks when we're playing rummy or we just want to snack throughout the day or if we go fishing, we have some quick snacks. Um, I know I do a lot of the uh, dessert baking and just making uh, no, no bake stuff. I do a lot of desserts, but sometimes you just need quick snacks in the house. So I uh, got some Archway iced molasses cookies for Glenn. He loves those and... He's been eating those for years, and you can't always find them, so I got those for him. And last, got some cheese popcorn, which Glenn loves. Uh, he did want the hot cheese. They do make a hot cheese one, but they didn't have it, so got him cheese. And some Lay's wavy potato chips. So, and we keep our, we have this table in the middle of the garage. Let me see, I'll show you. This is our garage. This is half of our garage. <laughs> so we have a good sized garage and the middle of the floor is empty. So we put up this table here um, so I can start like, I didn't want to drag stuff in and out. So I said, I'm just going to do the grocery haul videos in here. So we put this table up and we can eat out here on this table and play rummy and we store our sodas under there. Uh, soda is also on sale. Um, normal price three or no normal price for a six pack, 16.9 ounce bottles, 
is five sixty nine. They were on sale for for twelve dollars, and there was a digital coupon uh, for taking off another dollar twenty five or so. So, so yeah, that's where we store our sodas in the garage under the underneath the table where they're out of the way. So. All right, so that is our Kroger grocery haul. Oh, and I forgot um, I had these in the freezer, so I got some ice cream also, strawberry surf and chocolate chip because we do have some ice cream cones left, so I just picked up some uh, ice cream for that. Okay, so the Walmart order, um, I had this delivered, again, because we paid for an entire year of... Uh, Walmart delivery or whatever it is so figure we better use the service rather than spend the money on gas to go get them and that's less time for me in Walmart too so that's good all right so starting off we got four tubs these are eight ounce tubs of whipped topping I always like to have those on hand in the freezer for uh, simple desserts got some uh, Tostitos I like to have those on hand as well for like nachos Got some uh, lighter fluid and got a big jar of mild banana pepper rings for Glenn. He actually likes hot, but can't seem to find hot ones anymore. They're all mild, but uh, I got a bee. <laughs> I got a bee swatting at my head. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, he likes to put those on like if he gets a summer sausage on crackers, he likes to put yellow pepper rings on there. And sometimes uses it on pizza as well. So I got a, a Pillsbury pizza crust. So we had a last minute change on what we're having for supper tonight. And uh, we were going to grill out. But we decided we're going to do that tomorrow. Because this weekend, uh, today being Sunday, yesterday and today has been kind of like fall-like days. Uh, in the low 60s, rainy, windy, cloudy. And tomorrow it's supposed to get sunny. So we're going to grill out tomorrow. So with that last minute, I went ahead and bought a pizza crust and we're going to make pizza tonight. So, and then, yes, that is mine. <laughs> Lindor double chocolate, chocolate, milk chocolate, chocolate tr truffles. Say that three times. Um, haven't had them in a while, but uh, Glenn wanted a candy bar. So I usually get truffles because that's uh, my choice over a candy bar. Yeah, I get a candy bar and she gets a whole bag of candy. <laughs> um, so I actually ordered the smaller bag, the five ounce bag, and I got a, a text with the substitution with the same price. They gave me a bigger bag, the 8.5 ounce bag for the same cost as a smaller bag. So, of course, I'm going to take that. <laughs> Uh, we got some uh, bagels also. Uh, we've never had this brand. We usually get Tom Thomas's, is that? And uh, this was also a substitution. And there's only five in these, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see how they taste. Got some uh, garbage bags. Did I just stutter there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we needed garbage bags, so got those. Got a bag of shredded uh, hash browns. Now, Glenn likes hash browns, where I like hash brown patties, so I usually end up cooking both of them. Uh, Three-pound tube of ground beef. Got some pepperoni for the pizza tonight, and uh, I'll be putting pepperoni and pineapple on my side. And Glenn's going to have, like, uh, jalapenos. Are you putting yellow peppers on there, babe? Yellow peppers, mushrooms, onions, and is that it? Onions and yellow peppers. Uh, black olives. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what he's going to have on his side. Got some seasoned salt as we are just about out. Canned goods. Got, sorry for the shakiness. We got three small cans of uh, mushroom pieces and... The reason I get small cans versus big cans is if I get a big can, use a couple pieces, then it sits in the refrigerator. So for me, the small cans are better. I can use it up right away and don't have to worry about storing it in the refrigerator for how long. And bato sauce. Got uh, eight can, no, ten cans. This is what we use for our uh, taco meat and other uh, Mexican meals. The green, the green can is like a jalapeno sauce, 
and the yellow can is actually much uh, spicier than the green can. So the last couple times we made tacos, all I had was the yellow can. Oh my gosh, was it spicy for me. <laughs> this last time when we made tacos for Glenn's birthday, I used the yellow can and it was spicy. I actually had to douse sour cream into the meat for me and mix it up and it was still spicy. So I uh, can't wait till I get back to the green cans. <laughs> So I bought five cans of the green El Pato and five of the yellow ones. Uh, I use the yellow ones when I make them homemade salsa, so that's why I keep those on hand. Tomato sauce, again, got the small cans, and I just basically keep tomato sauce on hand for when I make a fideo. So I got eight cans of tomato sauce. Got some gallon-sized storage bags. Got cream cheese for the bagel. This is strawberry. And this is a bigger container. This is 15 and a half ounces. And Walmart is the only place I've seen that at. And then I got two, two packs of the two pack <laughs> cream cheese. So four total. And these are eight ounces each. Again, just like the whipped topping, I like to have cream cheese on hand for desserts. So those basically go in the freezer. Uh, Fritos cheese. Um, I use this for jalapeno for jalapenos. I use this for nachos. Uh, Glenn obviously likes the jalapeno cheddar. I like the mild, and I bought him two and me one because I already have one uh, whole one in the house, so that makes it two and two. So just like to have those for nachos are just basically dipping your uh, tostitos in cheese. Uh, garlic powder, got some garlic powder, got some pizza sauce for tonight. Uh, eventually, yeah, I like to try making our own pizza sauce because we don't use a lot of it. So, and a lot of them, I don't know, you can take them or leave them, I guess. Got a pack of bacon. Uh, this is great value brand. So I just got one because I want to see how that tastes versus uh, Kroger brand. Uh, Kroger brand is really thin which is okay with me, but it's got re a really good smoky flavor, which is, I said good, but I don't really like the smoky flavor. <laughs> so I want to see how great value tastes toward, uh, versus Kroger. And got Glenn a couple of king size candy bars. There's Milky Way and Snickers. Um, so yeah, I prefer my uh, Lindor truffles over candy bars, and he likes his candy bars. So, and also we got a bag of charcoal because we are going to be grilling out tomorrow and probably a couple times this week because we got some brats in the freezer. We've got hamburgers. So, so yeah, this is uh, the second of two grocery hauls, Kroger, and this is the Walmart one. So that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I appreciate all your support. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.